to Waterway Kids! Yay! Hello, boys and girls. I am glad that you've joined us this morning. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm so glad to be back with you this week um, after I went fishing last week. Um, I'm glad Charles was filling in for me while I was gone fishing. So yeah, oh, here, here are some of the fish that I caught. And as you can see, I got my limit. And man, they were good eating. That's right. They were good eating. We interrupt this Sunday school lesson for some jokes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. What building has the most stories? What building has the most stories? A library. <laughs> All right. Hey, here's another one. How do you know the ocean is friendly? Because it waves. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. What did the one plate say to the other plate? Dinner's on me. <laughs> Charles, what are you doing? Oh, bye. So. I am glad to be back with you today and talk about Jesus' power brings hope. Jesus' power brings hope. Okay, I want you to say that with me, okay? Jesus' power brings hope. All right, sounds good. Well, you know, it's really been a long time since we've been able to get together at Waterway Church and see our friends and go to school and things like that. And, you know, I think people are really getting tired of having to stay at home all the time. How about you? What are some things that are frustrating you about this whole coronavirus? Staying at home all the time? Not being able to see your friends? Not being able to go to church. Not being able to go to Grammy and Papa's house. Ah, there's a lot of things that we can't do. And people are kind of getting frustrated and upset that, no, we have to stay at home. We can't go and do some things that we really like to do. But we have to remember that Jesus' power brings hope. Okay? Well, how about we sing a song? And let's sing a song about hope, okay? And no matter what you're facing, God can turn it around. Stand up and let's sing. Woke up this morning feeling kind of blue A little sad but I know just what to do Whoa oh oh Whoa oh oh I have learned that I can go to Jesus He lifts me up whenever I need it Whoa oh
and down That's when God comes through and turns it all around Yeah, He gives me joy in every situation Keeps my spirits high no matter what I'm facing that's right. Jesus can give us hope no matter what we are facing. That's right. Jesus can give us hope no matter what we are facing. And that's going to be what our story is about today. You know, when you're stuck or disappointed, it's easy to become angry and frustrated because that's just how you feel about the situation. But you know, it's what you do when you are angry and frustrated that can really help you turn things around. Yeah, it's what you do when you're angry or frustrated that can really help you turn things around. And that's what today's story is all about. The story can be found in John chapter 11. And this true story about some very good friends of Jesus, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Well, Lazarus became sick, and Mary and Martha thought, oh my, Lazarus might die. We better find out where Jesus is and ask him to come. Well, that's just what they did. They sent word to Jesus and said, Lazarus is really sick. You better come. Well, Mary and Martha and Lazarus were very good friends of Jesus. In fact, they believed that Jesus was the Messiah. Mary and Martha and Lazarus believed all that Jesus taught them. Well, when Jesus got the word that Lazarus was sick, he didn't run to their house and, and meet with Mary and Martha and Lazarus. Nope, <laughs> Jesus didn't do that. Instead, Jesus stayed a little while longer where he was before he went to the home of Mary and Martha. Man, I wonder what Mary and Martha were thinking. I wonder if they were thinking, Jesus, where are you? Where are you? I wonder if they were looking down the road and seeing, is Jesus coming yet? Is Jesus coming yet? Man, you know, I'm sure they were really getting angry and frustrated that Jesus didn't show up. But when Jesus showed up, Lazarus was already dead. And, you know, when when Mary and Martha saw Jesus, they kind of expressed their disappointment that, you know, you know, if you would have been here, Lord, Lazarus wouldn't have died. Because you see, boys and girls, Mary and Martha believed that Jesus was the Messiah. They believed in everything that Jesus taught them. Well, I know they were really upset, and they were crying because Lazarus was dead. Wow. But you know, Jesus had another plan. That's right. Jesus had another plan for Mary and Martha, and for Lazarus too, as we will find out. For you see, if Jesus just would have come and said, hey, Lazarus, you're healed. You know, that, that would have been special. But to have Lazarus die and then bring him back to life? Wow. The Bible says that many people believed in Jesus that he was the Messiah after he did that. You see, Jesus had a bigger plan. Jesus had bigger ideas of what to do with Lazarus. And you know, yeah, it was tough on Mary and Martha. They believed in Jesus that he could do anything, and he did. He raised Lazarus back to life. All right, well, let's watch this true story from John chapter 11. Stories of the Bible. Jesus Raises Lazarus from the Dead. This is Jesus. Hey-oh! 
who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus who was very sick. <coughs> he had two sisters named Mary That's okay. and Martha Here you go. who sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. So oh, come on. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus's sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God. Uh, what? So although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. All right, I, let's go. Finally, he said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Uh, are you sure? But his disciples did not think this was a good idea because the people in Judea had tried to kill Jesus, but Jesus told them they were going anyway. He said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Eh, be okay. The disciples thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, so Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. What? And for your sakes, I'm glad I wasn't there. For now you will really believe. Come, let's go see him. Thomas said to his fellow disciples, let's go too and die with Jesus. When Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Many people had come to be with Mary and Martha because their brother had died. When Martha got word that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Yes, Martha said. He will rise when everyone else rises at the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, Lord, she told him. I have always believed you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Then she returned to Mary. She told Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. So Mary immediately went to him. When the people who were at the house consoling Mary saw her leave so hastily, they assumed she was going to Lazarus's grave to weep. Oh, let's go too. So they followed her there. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up within him. Where have you put him? He asked them. They told him, Lord, come and see. Then Jesus wept. The people who were standing nearby said, see how much he loved him? But some said, this man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still angry and he arrived at the tomb. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. Wait, hold on, Jesus. But Martha protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus said, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Go ahead. So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus came out, his hands, feet, and head wrapped in cloth. Uh -huh. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Many of the Jews who were there believed in Jesus, for he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Hey, boys and girls, Jesus certainly did not disappoint, did he? 
No, Mary and Martha got their brother Lazarus back. That's right. That's power. That's hope. And the Bible says that he wasn't late. Nope. He waited because he had a different purpose. He wanted just not to merely raise Lazarus from being sick, but raise him from being dead. And the Bible says that many people believe because they saw Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead. That's right. Jesus wasn't late for Lazarus or Mary or Martha. And you know what? He's not late in answering your prayers either. That's right. Jesus had a better plan for his friend Lazarus when he was ill. And you know, Jesus was in charge. That's right. And he's still in charge. And he has a plan for us too. Jesus' power brings hope. So I hope that you can remember that, that Jesus' power brings hope. In fact, let's all say it again, okay? Ready? Jesus' power brings hope. That's right. And you know what? If you trust in Jesus, he will give you hope, and he will give you joy, too. That's right. Because when you trust him, Jesus' power brings hope. And we can always trust in Jesus, that he is doing what is best for us according to his big plan. That's right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Waterway Kids. It's always great to have you here. And remember to do those activity pages, okay? Do those activity pages and then send me a picture either by text or email, and then I will send you a prize coupon. That's right, the prizes are now in my office and they are waiting for all of us to get back to Waterway. All right, well, I tell you what, before we leave, how about we say our verse and then we'll have a word of prayer, okay? Our verse is John eleven twenty five, And Jesus is speaking here. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. So I want you to say that with me, okay? John eleven twenty five, 25. I am the resurrection and the life. Okay, we probably should say it again, okay? Let's say the reference and then the verse. Here we go. John eleven twenty five. I am the resurrection and the life. And that's what Jesus did for Lazarus, right? He resurrected him back to life from being dead because he was sick. So Jesus' power brings hope. All right, well, let's pray, boys and girls. Thank you that your power brings hope, God. Thank you that we can trust in you and that you are working your perfect plan in our lives. Even though at times we don't like it, that we have to be stuck at home, just like Mary and Martha didn't like that Jesus didn't come when Lazarus was still alive and sick. But we know, God, that you did not disappoint, that you raised Lazarus from, your, from the dead. And God, we know that even though we're stuck at home and we don't like it, God, that you are not going to disappoint us too that you're gonna work out your perfect plan in our lives. God, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, well, thank you for joining me this week and I will see you next time.